And Williamson County officials say they are worried about the condition of some of the animals seized from a no-kill shelter near Florence. At 6 o'clock, we told you the owner insists they're all healthy despite facing an animal cruelty investigation. KXAN's Leslie Rangel spoke with neighbors who say they've had concerns about that facility. And when we told them there were animals living in the building, they were surprised. I never see anybody there during the day. I always saw people like at night. Brandy Rochelle has lived across the Rug Animal Center for about a year now. She says neighbors' biggest complaint was a nauseating smell and late night construction noises. We thought it was like from our, um, our septic, but we had that checked out and everything was fine. So it wasn't our septic. And um, just the noise and just the the eyesore of the house. <laughs> it turns out it wasn't just a home issue, it was an animal issue. Early Wednesday morning, Williamson County Animal Control Officers seized more than 80 animals from inside these walls. Just from a visual observation, there were definitely some upper respiratory issues um, and some skin conditions that I saw. According to a March inspection report by the Texas Department of State Health Services, they found the grounds are covered in trash and litter. Litter boxes are full of days of feces and urine. Feces on the floor, room reeks, boxes are full of urine and feces. Owners say the report has a lot of discrepancies. If Williamson County Animal Control wanted to help, they would share their vets with us to do some of the vet work that we wouldn't have to pay for. They showed us the inside of their facility. We'll let you be the judge. Honestly, I never see anybody go in there in the morning and check on them. I'm, I was, I'm, like I said, I'm really shocked that there was animals even in there. And that was Leslie Rangel reporting from Florence. The owners of the shelter did provide us with a state health inspection from 2015 and 2016. Both years, they say, were satisfactory and received comments that the shelter was kept very clean. About 30 years ago, the state passed laws to protect animals kept in shelters. Before 1989, most facilities did not have any regulations addressing feeding, cleaning, cleaning, veterinary care or separation of animals based on species, sex, size, and whether the animal is injured or sick. But now, any shelter in a county with a population greater than 75,000 must follow all of the housing and sanitation rules. Shelters must also employ a licensed veterinarian to inspect the facility once a year and turn in their findings to the state. And they must keep records of the animals in their custody and make those records available for inspectors.